Good day, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the Military and Foreign Affairs Network. I am your host, the Voice of Reason. Today, we're continuing our ongoing coverage of the war between the Russian Federation and the Ukraine. So today, there is a fairly significant concern that has ha has been occurring over the past 48 hours. The uh, Ukrainian military has been attempting to target Russian long-range early warning radar systems designed to prevent nuclear attack against the Russian Federation. Look, these systems that the Ukrainians specifically are targeting, in some cases as much as a thousand miles away from the border uh, between the Russian Federation and Ukraine. Uh, again, these are long-range radar systems, over-the-horizon radar systems, designed to track incoming ballistic missiles. They have very little significance to the ongoing war that is now taking place between Russia and Ukraine. So the question is, why is the Ukrainian military targeting these early warning radar systems of the Russian Federation? Is it because the Russians are conducting exercises with the use of tactical nuclear weapons. That is not going to prevent the Russians from conducting these exercises. At the same time, it creates an environment where mistakes can happen. We know that both sides, the United States, Russia, operate on a launch on warning. If they believe they are under attack, meaning they, the United States, or the Russian Federation, that a nuclear attack is underway, then there is a nuclear response. By degrading any Russian capability to detect oncoming nuclear weapons, that could be perceived by the Russians as an escalatory path towards the use of nuclear weapons. Very strange operation by the Ukrainians by using these uh, very long-range, uh, slow-moving uh, drones to try and attack these early warning radar systems. Again, not designed to prevent a military engagement or the crossing of uh, the Russian border with Ukraine uh, with, uh, with cruise missiles or, or, or other systems that are currently being used. These systems are specifically designed to prevent or detect incoming ballistic missiles, U.S. ballistic missiles. So what happens next? Again, another step in the path of escalation. Another step up the stairs or down the stairs, depending on how you view this. And what will be the Russian response? There is a site in Romania that the Russians are very irritated that exists. At some point, could we see a Russian attack on that Aegis Ashore system in Romania? Wouldn't surprise me at all if that happens at some point. So we're watching this very closely and we're trying to understand the intent of the Ukraine and obviously the Ukraine would not have conducted such a mission without authorization from their NATO handlers. Again, attacking nuclear early warning assets. More to come. Have a good day.